All right, so look, our next guest is an actress who put her career on hold when she married the premier of Turks and Caicos in 2006. That made her the first lady of a nation. <laughs> Unfortunately, the marriage came to a messy ending, and she's ready to start all over again with her life, getting it back on track. She's currently starring in her own reality show on TV One called Lisa Ray, The Real McCoy, which is the network's highest rated premiere. So take a look. I took your car to the shop. And? And we found a whole bunch of stuff. Like? Like liquor. On the back? In the trunk? Uh-huh. Yeah, from an old long time party. So this was like four or five months ago. And you've been riding around four or five months with open liquor in your car. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to take it out. I don't want you to have liquor in your car at all, okay? I know. I had people in my car who wanted it. No. Hell no. Now, that's really like a no-no there. <laughs> Please welcome former First Lady Lisa Ray. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. You are just all kinds of pretty. You just really are. Just, Thank you. She's uh, <laughs> beautiful. And, and. Hey. Cool, hey, Jamaica. Yeah, cool, funky uh, jewelry. Right. You know what? That's what I said. I wanted to be kind of chic on the show. And, yes. You know, kind of make my white stand out as Gwyneth B. from uh, L.A. So. Well, well, here's the thing. We knew that she'd wear white. For those of us who follow <laughs> Lisa Ray, uh, Lisa Ray has been wearing white for almost about ten eight years. years. Eight, eight years? years? Mm -hmm. What made you obsess with this unforgiving I color? I know it's not anything religious or anything. I just feel fresh and clean and just like an angel. I'm not a virgin, so it's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I noticed that, that was your house that we just saw, tones of white and beige. You drive a white BMW, white, white, white. White Phantom, white Range Rover, white Mustang. I guess you don't eat barbecue sauce. And I eat everything. Now, you know I eat. <laughs> and always have a change of clothes or a no. bleach pen, right? No, neither. I'm just, I was born to wear white, really. I never get dirty. I can Neat. wear my jeans over again. Not that I, you know, do, but, you know. All right, so Lisa Ray, everybody, has been through a lot in the past uh, several years. Uh, she was married to the premiere of Turks and Caicos. We were invited to the wedding. Yes. I was working on the radio, couldn't come. Mm -hmm. Michael Misick is his name. You guys really did make a stunning couple. Um, there were so many scandals that went down. I guess you felt as though a woman's got to do, and that's yeah. what divorce is for. Yeah. Tell us about um, when you first saw the cracks in your four year. I have to keep reminding people this is four years, you know, mm -hmm. that you guys were married. When did you start seeing the cracks? I think when I really committed to leaving all of us and becoming a newlywed, a new wife, a new first lady, I said, okay, I'm here. So the more that I was on island, the more friends that I was, you know, uh, prone to have. And then they were whispering and saying, you know, first lady, you might want to miss your flight. Okay, uh -huh. hold on for one moment. All of Us is a sitcom mm -hmm. that Lisa Ray was a part of with Tony Rock and Tisha Campbell. And it was... Dwayne Martin. Actually, Tisha actually was a uh, co-host. I mean, a uh, co um uh, supporting sometimes. Right. right, and it was, it was a, a Will Smith and Jada Smith right. uh, mm -hmm. project. So anyway, so you left the sitcom right. to devote yourself to being a wife, mm -hmm. first lady, and of course, mother of your daughter. Yeah. And so go back to the... And that's why mm -hmm. hearing our rumors about babies here and infidelity and stay and, you know, uh, lunches with people that I didn't know anything about. And it was like, okay. And then he started trying to, you know, date friends and friends of friends was introducing them to friends. And I was like, well, what's going on here? And then I heard the, you know, the allegation of rape that happened in the house that was consensual. You know, and as a wife, you know, you can imagine Imagine how I felt, you know, like well, in our house. It, 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 yeah, there was a lot of shenanigans. Lot. We saw the pictures were on the internet. There are a lot of people sitting at your dining room table and doing all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, no, you saw those pictures too. At, at your, you know me. Yeah. I was in. Mm -hmm. So what was it? I mean, oh, then the corruption of governmental funds, and then for me, it was like, okay, now I don't run government clearly, so I have to clear myself. And then in the states, you can't testify against your husband. So but this there, is what she's thinking. Yeah, I had to get summons to testify, and I was like, really? So after I went to, you know, the, the inquiry and he testified and threw me under the bus, I was thinking, well, wait a minute, I need to let you guys know what I bring to the table. And this is, I was my own millionaire when I met him. Uh -huh. I was private playing and champagne sipping before I met him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So the divorce has been finalized. Um, the financial part has not been finalized. Mm -hmm. You had no prenup. You didn't have children together. But we you had a prenup. Oh, you do? We you have did. a prenup. But because of the country now, the Constitution was suspended. The government is no longer. Uh, he had oh. to step down. And all of everything that I brought to the table was kind of, 
you know, being so, worked out. So it'll be a while before you see that money. In the meantime, you're moving on with your life. Mm -hmm. um, your marriage was in turmoil. How did that affect you moving forward regarding your girlfriends? Because I understand, um, friend to this show, Vivica Fox, mm -hmm. as well as other women that Lisa mm -hmm. Ray has always been close with, mm -hmm. weren't necessarily there for your telephone calls. Well, you know what? Um, I don't want to say that they weren't there for my telephone calls, but definitely, you know, when you're going through something, you want your friends to be able to reach out to you. And I don't actually know what happened. I don't know yeah. where she was. It wasn't until I did an interview until someone said, you know, you and Vivica has been so close. And where is she? And I said, I don't know. So, <laughs> so you know. So are you dating now? Or are you? I'm enjoying being single. Uh-huh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Will you marry again? Hell yeah. Yeah. Quick. I mean, I'm a fan of marriage. I'm a fan of a union, of finding someone to fight this thing called life with. You know, so, you know, I, I want to be able to find my Prince Charming and take me away like Calgon. You know? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so what's next for you? You have a hit reality show. What else? I know, the highest rated show, as you said. I'm so glad <laughs> TV One took a chance on, you know, buying the whole season. I just booked a movie through Queen Latifah's production company, Very Flavor nice. Unit, VH1. I have the lead in that movie. We start in Atlanta uh, next week. Very nice. So I'm back to doing what I do. And I'm so glad that I have a brand and a name to be able to come back to. And awfully glad that you have your 20-year-old daughter. It was Ooh. so nice. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa Ray, for being mm -hmm. here. You guys, you can watch Lisa Ray, The Real McCoy, Thursday nights at 9 on TV One. We're going to take a break. Ask Wendy is next.